Hello, I'm Nick Knight. Um, I want to talk to you today about a video I shot with a young British rapper called Tino Kamal. This is my assistant, Brit. Um, we wanted to do a very different sort of video for him. Tino's a very different sort of rapper. He's really exciting and really interesting, um, but he's very open to how his visuals should look. And so I wanted to approach it by doing a series of, if you were almost still shots, but look like paintings. And so for that, I wanted to use daylight. So Britt, can you explain a little bit about what we get from daylight? Yeah, so we have a studio here, um, show studios of physical space. Um, our studio gets, a tiny portion of it gets really beautiful north lighting, which is the most beautiful of daylight you can get. So because of, our, because of the size of our studio, actual area that gets it's quite small. This often constricts us in what we can shoot in it, but when you do put something in there, it's the most beautiful spot in our studio. Um, our daylight windows are quite high, so actually the light coming through is quite top heavy, so it makes all the shadows quite, uh, quite deep and quite contrasty, but it's, it's a different type of light to a really flat daylight. It's, yeah. It gives you quite strong side shadows and it just feels more romantic and more deep and a bit more, there's a bit, it feels a bit more characterful. Yeah, um, the, the thing about North Light <coughs> is it doesn't have any sunlight in it. So pure North Light Studio, which is the, the original painter's studio, going right back to the Renaissance, um, the north light was a light look because there was no, sh no sunlight coming through as such. So you've got no sharp light, no defined light. It's a very intense um, glow of light. You can see in the space here that it's just sort of glowing next to us. Um, it's the sort of light that you, know, you might see in this Irving Penn portrait. Or, um, it's a sort of elegant light. I've always thought, <coughs> excuse me, I've always thought that daylight was probably the most elegant light. Um, it's the one that's sort of always available. I know Irving Penn was a huge fan of it. Um, and said that anything put in a beautiful north light was all automatically would look better. Um, so we used to, my first we've always looked for studios that have daylight in them and are lit sort of by that north light, which obviously makes it quite hard to find places. But for Tina, we wanted to do something which was, um, as I said, painterly, quite slow in pace. A lot of rap videos are cut very fast. I wanted to do exactly the opposite of that and cut very slowly. Um, Britt, what did you find? Because you filmed most of it. Yeah. What's really nice as well, um, Tino's actually covered in tattoos from head to toe. So we did some shots of just his body, particularly putting in bodies in the daylight here. It's super, super beautiful because it just gives them definition and shows their line, shows their curve, shows the muscles. It's really beautiful in that yeah. way. We also painted the background black. So instead of, I think often when people think of daylight, they think of this quite flat and sometimes quite commercial light. But I think with Tino, it just, it really softened down what some people take as quite a hard exterior. And it just made him look really beautiful and show his skin texture, his skin color. And it definitely against the black background, it sort of, it made it more moody and mysterious and romantic rather than light and breezy and too bright. Yeah. Um, I mean, we'll show you sort of a little bit how the daylight works on bridge, you come down. But um, it's it just quite a nice thing, in fact, that if you use it properly, Obviously, it's coming from one side only. <clears throat> so it creates a light side on this side, and the shadows go very deep and dark on this side. And if you put some sort of baffle or polyboard or something to make a shadow on the brighter side, that makes the light stand out against the dark. And then when you've got a pool of light behind you, that makes the dark side, dark side stand out against the light. I always, whenever you describe that to me, I always think of it as you're literally just playing with light and playing with um, bouncing light back or restricting light and literally just using the simplest of one light source, which is the sun. So this is Brit standing in the north light. You can see how it's coming from quite high up. So it's actually quite a, a high north light. Most of them aren't that high. Um, it casts a really beautiful shadow on the far side of her face, whereas this is lit on this side. It's a very high daylight. So it's coming right from sort of almost 10, 15 feet up above Brit's head. So it's actually quite a high angle, which can be a little bit tricky at times. And you can see her face falls into shadow very quickly. So most daylight studios, the, light, the window's actually much lower down. Um, Britt, do you want to just explain a little bit about how, you, how we work with the light? Yeah, so I think what's really nice about the daylight in here particularly is it's a type of light that's just, it's here in the studio when you walk in. And I think instead of you choosing how powerful it is, where you position it, they aren't, them controls are, actually aren't in your hands and instead you just have to react to it more emotionally and decide how to shape it. So you can make it quite dark and make it quite shadowy and make it quite moody or you can really make it a lot flatter and really lift it and make it quite bright. I just think it's a really nice light to help determine the mood of your image and what you're trying to say through your image. Daylight is the most, it's 
most pure light, the most simple light. Historically, it's the light that painters use. So in a way, it's the most beautiful of all lights. But if you turn away from the light, just turn your body that way, you can see that her face falls into shadow. Now turn your head back towards the camera. There you can see that light starts to drift across her face. And you get that really beautiful sort of dark on one side, light on the other side. As I was saying earlier, that you, know, you put dark on this side so it brings out the light part of her face. And then behind her is the pool of light, um, which actually brings out the, the dark side of her face. So it works very well. Filming the video was really great doing it in daylight. Tino and Scully, who's a producer who also features on the song, there were some scenes where we did um, with just their chests and they were moving along to the beat. Um, when their body moves, the definitions in their muscles and on their body, the light captures the kind of curves and the dips and it just looked super, super beautiful, um, especially in the daylight. And they both have quite nice skin tones and Scully's extremely dark, but it looks so beautiful with the really bright light. It was the contrast sort of between a white and a black and it just looked like his whole body and his muscles were glowing. Yeah, it's a really beautiful light to bring up muscle definition, uh, especially people with very dark skins. People get very sort of strangely scared about taking things dark, but you can actually really push this light down into the shadows and make it really, really dark. And then just all little highlights shine out. It's just an incredibly um, pure and versatile light. Uh, you just know, you've got to relax into it and know what you're doing with it and not be frightened of it. Because when you first see it, it's just very gentle. It's not at all flashy or mm. directional. It's just almost like a sort of glow you're seeing. I think daylight is a really beautiful light to work with, especially in the studio. It's probably my favorite light that we work with here. Um, it feels just really personal and we know our spot in our studio work, where it works well. So we sort of, we've learned to tackle with it, but in the end we finally worked out how it works well. I think Nick was really passionate about portraying Tino in this much more soft way. And I think it was just a really important thing to do. Yeah, I think you, when you see the video, you'll see that Tino's quite, you know, it's, it's, he has a really strong vision of a temp contemporary man. He's covered in head to foot tattoos. So he did something to give that a sort of, almost a sort of poetic gentleness to it. And Daylight's incredibly good at that.